Over the last year, we've told the stories of over 50 incredible people. But this is the story of us, the Nowhere Men, and how we left our normal lives and steady jobs to travel the world and film a TV show on $9 a day. Started back in college at Wash U in St. Louis. Brian and I were randomly assigned freshman year roommates, and Eric joined the crew a year later. It was bro love at first sight. After college, Brian and I became management consultants together. And I went my own way and became an elementary school teacher. Like we said, pretty normal lives. But in 2014, we decided to shake things up. There had to be more to life than spreadsheets and lesson plans. So the three of us got together and did something insane. We decided to do the Mongol Rally, a 10,000 mile drive from London to Mongolia. While we were planning, we got connected with a major production company and they asked us to film our trip for them. It would be an awesome trip for us and a dirt cheap TV show for them. We had no experience on camera or behind a camera, but naturally we said yes. With almost no money and a bunch of camera gear, we stuffed ourselves inside this tiny purple car and set off for Mongolia. It was the craziest adventure of our lives. Up until that point, we got home and the production company started editing our footage. Within a month, we got an email. Boys, how about another trip? Buy a car, drive down the spine of the Andes. We'll call it the rally to the end of the world. No going back to your old jobs. This is your job. Interested? Hell yeah. So we did an even bigger trip from New York City through all of Latin America to the bottom tip of South America. Altogether, it took 13 months. We've spent a lot of time together. Driving together all day. Camping together every night. Eating every meal together. Always living our lives on camera. One of the most common questions we get is, how did you guys not kill each other? And the truth is, we almost did. But we had no choice. We had to make it work. Our show depended on it. And so, we did. Like we're really having to kind of talk through our emotions and like deal with the problems that we're having because we can't just deal with them by moving away. The other question we get all the time is, how do we do all that travel on such a small budget? There's three answers. Number one, we ate a ton of peanut butter. So we can't get out of the car because if we step out of the car, we're gonna smell it and we're gonna wanna eat the real food. But that's like two bucks, we can't afford that. So we're gonna sit in the parking lot, we're gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna have an ice cream. Number two, we usually slept in our tent, but sometimes drastic times called for drastic measures. Sleeping in our car outside a gas station. Uh, just us and the truck drivers tonight. Well, let's pretend this is okay. And number three, people around the world are unbelievably nice to strangers in need. Whenever we were in trouble, strangers everywhere from Mexico to Mongolia stepped up to help us. We thought we had it all figured out. But when we got home, we were lost. We all moved back in with our parents. So we met up to talk about what to do next. We were all hoping and kind of expected that our show was gonna sell pretty quickly and that we would just, you know, our life was gonna be whatever happens when you have a TV show. Um, and so we kind of expected that to happen and it hasn't. We had no jobs, we had no money, we had no plan, but we knew how to film and we knew it was time to take control of our future. If we want this to be anything, like we need to make that happen and no one else is gonna do that for us. So one day we kissed our moms goodbye and got back together to start filming stories with nothing more than our iPhones. We started looking for people here in our own city, often people we'd never otherwise talk to. And here's what we found. Matthew Silver has begun the love fart revolution. Please fart right now. James went to prison. Now he rescues animals. Move, move, asshole. Come on, back it up. Avelia makes the best tamales in all of Queens. We sold a lot of tamales today. Jim was a hustler. Now he's a mentor. I lost a friend who got shot right there. I lost another friend who got shot up the block. Nas makes one minute videos for Facebook daily. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Sana and Salima invited us to join them for Ramadan. David has invented the next big cryptocurrency. Mono makes robots. Darren makes raindrop cakes. Genevieve's violin stops time. Alejandra is a Colombian who goes to Colombia. Ray's got a candy store. Hello! Peter's got a barber shop. Lord's Lane thinks you're a superhero. Shiraz loves Plav. Carlo and Orazio make mozzarella on famous Arthur Avenue. 
I give it two mozzarella's up. Ksenia is the breakfast criminal. Steven keeps kids learning after school. Maria left Venezuela. Allison is the rock star shaman. Chris believes in peace. And we're just getting started. I finally moved out of my parents' house and into this apartment in Brooklyn. My roommates, these guys. It's never what we expected for our lives, but here we are, figuring it out one day at a time. We're not gonna stop telling stories until we've run out of amazing people, or we just get too sick of each other, whichever happens first. Who knows, maybe we'll tell your story someday. I'm Alex. I'm Brian. And I'm Eric, and we're the Nowhere Men. Rally on!